this is an enormous honor. Uh, I've gotten a number of other awards in the past, but this one is by far and away the most important. It's really become the Nobel Prize for Wildlife Conservation. And what it is is an incredible validation of the work that I've done. And I'm particularly pleased to be part of the group of previous winners. Six other people have gotten this, and they're some of the great uh, eco-heroes in the history of our movement. I mean, a person like George Schaller, who is the greatest uh, big mammal field biologist ever. There's never going to be anyone like him. Pat Wright, who is a, a close colleague uh, working in Madagascar, as do I. She won it uh, in 2014. And then the most recent uh, previous winner, Carl Jones, who has demonstrated you can bring species back from the brink of extinction, even species that are down to just a handful of individuals. So to be part of this group is just an enormous honor. It certainly uh, encourages and stimulates me to try to do even more in the remaining 10, 20, whatever, year, however many years I still have to go in this business. Biodiversity <coughs> is that wealth of species, uh, ecosystems, and ecological processes that make our living planet what it is. And it really underpins everything that's out there. The ecosystem services that are derived from biodiversity are essential to human well-being overall. And I think uh, getting a prize like this and uh, really furthering knowledge, awareness of biodiversity helps to get rec recognition of the fact that biodiversity underpins, it's the most fundamental element of long-term sustainable, sustainable development, long-term uh, viability for our own species. So I think this is yet another tool that we have at our disposal to get the word out. Stakeholders in conservation range from indigenous people in the remote corners of our planet, places like Amazonia or the Congo or New Guinea, all the way up to business leaders and heads of state and, and uh, ministers. And so we have to interact with all these different sectors, all these different people, and they each have a different set of interests and priorities. But I especially want to recognize the, uh, the philanthropic community in the U.S. American philanthropy is without equal anywhere in the world. And the people who support conservation through their giving play a very, very important role that's unlike anything else anywhere on Earth. And so I really want, I want to acknowledge those people who make contributions to conservation and help to make our work possible. This is a global issue, and people everywhere in the world have a responsibility to help us with it. And I'm particularly interested in uh, pushing forward with the younger generation. Uh, I've had an opportunity to speak to several student groups, and uh, I just spoke to fourth graders today, and I'm just trying to get the message across that, you know, we've made our mistakes in our generations, and now it's up to them to really take this cause forward. And I'm very enthusiastic that there, there is such awareness of the environment, certainly much more than there was when I was in elementary school or in high school or in college. And it's been very positive hearing these young people here in Indiana and sharing the enthusiasm that they have for this issue.